There are many instances in which the public cloud makes sense, and many instances in which it does not, according to Brad Skirkles, Vice President and General Manager of Sixterra Federal Group. Executive Biz spoke with Skirkles to find out which cloud solutions are best suited for different applications and which cloud trends are moving the GovCon market into 2023. Platform developer CloudBolt Software has expanded its leadership team with the appointment of Sean Petty as Chief Customer Officer, and Howard Levinson as member of its Board of Advisors. Jacobs has won a $99.8 million contract from a division of the Naval Surface Warfare Center to assist with the setup, installation and maintenance of an undersea facility. Two geostationary satellites that Maxar Technologies built for Intelsat unfolded their solar arrays, and started transmitting signals and commissioning activities on orbit, following their launch Tuesday aboard an Ariane 5 rocket from Ariane Space's launch site in French Guiana. Obsidian Solutions Group will assist the U.S. Marine Corps in conducting staff training for combat support under a five-year, $40 million contract. VentureScope secured a small business innovation research program contract to create a startup incubator development program for the U.S. Air Force. Lockheed Martin's venture capital arm has made a strategic investment in Fortify to enable the Boston-based digital manufacturing company to advance additive manufacturing of radio frequency components. The Air Force Research Laboratory granted funding to Northrop Grumman to support expanded production at its hypersonic weapons facility in Elkton, Maryland. Join Potomac Officers Club's Mission Partner Environment and JADC2 Intersection Forum on January 19, 2023. Visit PotomacOfficersClub.com slash events. BAE Systems has received a $13.5 million other transaction agreement to integrate a threat management platform into an updated airborne countermeasures dispenser system for the U.S. Navy. Aon and Decision Lens have forged a partnership to apply both software and subject matter expertise in efforts to help DoD clients manage financial operations.